Eric, where have you been? We were getting worried. Mom, I'm 16. When are you going to stop worrying about me? When you're 60. <laughs> What's the matter? You look upset. I just lost a million bucks, that's all. A million bucks? Ah, easy come, easy go. <laughs> Greg, would you please tell me what you're talking about? I've been up in my room all afternoon working on this surefire hit song. Is that why you locked yourself in? Well, sure, creative artists don't like to be disturbed. But look at the title. We can make the world a whole lot brighter. That sounds great. Well, it's a guaranteed gold record, and I can't record it. Why not? Well, Mr. Dimsdale, he's the guy who owns the best recording studio in town. Wants 150 bucks in advance. It's a lot of bread. Bread? That's practically cake. <laughs> How much do you have? $43.12. Well, if you believe this is such a surefire hit song, then you can save up the rest. Are you kidding? By that time, I'll be on Social Security. Mr. Dimsdale. I wonder if that's Johnny Dimsdale's dad. Would you quit watching that dumb cartoon? You haven't heard a word I said. Sounds great, Greg. Great. I just had a swell talk with Mr. Dimsdale. At the recording studio? Yeah, I went over there to ask him to cut his price. I know his son, Johnny. Thanks, Pete. Boy, will you be happy I went. He cut the price! No! Well, then what the heck are you so excited about? I saw a great new group. They were recording in Mr. Dimsdale's studio. Congratulations. Mr. Dimsdale gave me some good advice. He said that family groups sell millions of records. Are you trying to make me feel worse than I already do? Greg, if that group I saw is going to make all that money, then we ought to make more. There are only five of them, and there's six of us Brady kids. Hey, hey, Pete, you might have something. Sure, and we'd make three times as much as the Carpenters. There are only two of them. We could call ourselves a Brady Six. It just might work. And with us recording my new great song, Pete, that's... That's a terrible idea. Huh? Well, why you get me all charged up like this? I'm still short $107. I'll chip in all I have. So will the others. Think so? Sure. Bobby, wouldn't you? Sounds great, Greg. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. I think we'd better get his money before the cartoon ends. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, you're passing up a deal of a lifetime. Not no, no, no. Say that again. Huh? Say no. No. Amazing. Now let me hear you sing it. Sing no? No. Come on, come on, sing it. No. No. Fabulous. Isn't she great? Huh? Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> now you, Jen. No. Come on. No. No. Terrific. All right, now the two of you together. Ready? No. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> No! Sensational! It's too bad you girls aren't part of the group, but you have my personal promise. What personal promise? That when we become rich and famous singing stars, we won't forget you. <laughs> will we, Pete? Sure we will. If they don't want in, then they're out. I guess you're right. Hey, wait a minute. Count me in. Count me in, too. What you doing? Oh, Cindy, go get your secret money and give it to Greg. 